Hello, my Juicy Co-Creators. Lilu here. I'm on the Juicy Living Tour with Stephanie South. Hello. Hello, Lilu. Exciting to be here in France. It's sunny. We're in Toulouse, south of France. Wow. I love it here. <laughs> you like it? I love it. <laughs> so you travel, I mean, the world. You spend quite some time in Australia with uh, Jose Arguelles, right? This was, you spent yeah. um, f many years with him. You were his companion, his yeah, spa? Yeah, since, since 2002 until his passing in 2011. And, and we were living seven years in Australia and New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. What an experience to, to, to have met him. Yeah. And, and, and I hear that many of the information you have received and he has received were activated through this union, no? It was through the union, through the union of masculine and feminine. And it was, it was all through the union of, of passing the knowledge from the, from the masculine to the feminine, just for um, symbolically for the equalization of the energies, because we know it all goes to the masculine and feminine. <laughs> Yeah. How do you how do you see I mean how do you see reality I know that's a big question but how do you see life here on Earth Let's see how do I see life here on Earth yeah. um, through a radial time lens through a through the heart through the love How do I see it I see everything is interconnected woven in a synchronic web by golden fibers that weave us all together in Ooh. an incredible mandala tapestry. Yeah where everything exists all at once. So we're kind of on this, uh, we're on Earth on this art form? Yeah, on planet art, <laughs> on the planet art, and time is not money, time is art, yes. and we're here to make things beautiful and to create more light yeah. on the planet, like you're doing. <laughs> Thank you. Your very presence. <laughs> There's millions of people, I feel, working on this, working, helping the Earth, too, mm -hmm. and supporting it. What is your relationship to the Earth? How do you want to help her to, well, to, 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 to be her full self, or does she need even help? Well, I have I I have a wonderful relationship with with Gaia, and I think that she is so super intelligent and so so smart that in an instant she could heal everything and she could heal herself despite what the humans have done to her. My feeling is it, she's all powerful, so magical, and there's so much more magic that she wants to show us. Yeah. So yeah. why, why some people are you, or I know some people in Hawaii and, and in Europe or Scotland, I'm thinking of, are, are activating, are, 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 are doing those processes, those rituals to help her? Mm -hmm. Yes, we're helping the earth because what we're doing is um, we're in a, in a transition period or we're going to, do you know the word, you know, noosphere? The word no, no so which is the planet, the planetary mind, yeah. and so that's the planetary mind of Gaia. So, like all of her thoughts, or it could be called the Akashic Record. We call it all different things, but the Noosphere is the planetary mind. And when we fully realize the Noosphere, we f we realize our interconnectedness with both each other and with and with Gaia. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So when 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 that is when we connect to it, or when we do rituals, we mm -hmm it's being activated or what's the I think so I think everything comes with the intention if we have the high high intention for the for the healing and an unselfish heart to to help heal the whole planet I think each act of goodness that we do is is deposited into what's called the Psi Bank or into the Noah sphere and each act of love each little thing that we do for each other until it has a cumulative effect I think until all the feedback comes raining on us Just yeah. like in your in your own life, you experience that if you do good and do good, then all of a sudden the, the feedback is instant. Because I think Gaia or Mother Earth is an instant feedback loop. Mm. I feel that right now, and I just did an interview with uh, t Tom Lesher, just to, at an astrologic level, you know, oh, to, yeah, to, to, yeah. to hear of yeah. the planet and what's going on. Because it feels like it's shaking a lot, you know, the Grand yeah. Cross and yeah. some alignments and the eclipses, the eclipses too. Yeah. yeah. There, there's so much, uh, it feels like uh, energy coming down and yeah. we need to adapt yeah. what's your relationship to that how do you deal with that yeah. what's going on even yeah well I think the key to focus on is the Sun I think the Sun is the key thing to focus on right now I know a lot of um, everything is coming 
through the sun right now as we were talking about a new new beam or new knowledge is focalized from other star systems through our sun and into the sunspot cycles and it hits our planet through the solar storms or through the different um, earth changes but I feel like right now at least my guidance is to pay attention to what's happening in the sun because the sun is light the sun is knowledge the sun is our is our life and it will tell us everything we need to know about the earth changes so it's kind of we need to open to it. We could open to it, yeah. to the sun. Yeah, we welcome and not be afraid of those solar flares. Or yeah, not be afraid at all. That look at everything. You just have to look at everything serves to further, and it's all part of a divine program, and it's all being choreographed from from on high. And there's there's a reason for everything that we're going through, even the earthquakes, even the devastation. To me, it's all divine. It's all a divine timing program, and we're gonna. But it, it also is important to keep our thoughts really, really pure because they do affect the electromagnetic field of Mother Earth. Our, our, our mind is directly connected with the electromagnetic field um, of the planet. And so it's so important that we're just pulsing out the light back to the source. And if we, you were saying in the talk today, because we're here in Toulouse, this is a conference organized by your, your publisher, actually, Ariane Edition, which is a big one in, in, in Canada and, uh, and actually all the French-speaking uh, mm -hmm. countries. And uh, um, I think actually John Vallo has books uh, with Ariane, no? So, yeah, he does too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And many, b yeah, many really yeah. many big teachers. Yeah. And uh, what was I going to say? I forgot my thought right there. <laughs> The, the sun, the changes. Yeah, all that. Changes. Oh my God. <laughs> our, our inner convulsions and changes that we're all going through. Initiations. Go yeah. <laughs> well, we're all going through it. That's for sure. None of us gets out alive, right? I mean, so we're we're all we're all one being, and it's like nobody's exempt from all of these shifts. And it's like it's just you know, as the new light hits, it shakes up everything that's not the light <laughs> inside, and we just keep being shaked until we're pure light. So. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there is. Uh, I forgot my thought, but though I wanted to ask you anyway the question, and then, then this multi-dimensional. Oh, yeah, I know. I, I, I remember now. The, this fifth uh, uh, dimensional body. Yeah. To describe that yeah. to us and how important it is to integrate it. Okay, so we have a, th a third dimensional body, fourth dimensional, and fifth dimensional body. Yeah. We know what the third dimension is. Fourth dimension is our dreams, thoughts, our invisible thought form, our invisible thought forms, and then the fifth dimension. And the dreams. And the dreams and the deja vus yeah. and all those things that happen in our invisible life, in our invisible realm, and 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 then the fifth dimensional is our pure electronic self, our pure, our divine blueprint, our, um, what we were saying, our, our holy guardian angel that's pure light, that's pure electricity that we're always trying to merge with. It's, it's our self that we always compare ourselves to if we don't measure up as perfect because we know that we are, <laughs> that we are these perfect pure electronic divine energies of pure light bodies and we're pure electricity. And so, so that's always, you can, you can feel it if you tune into your body and tune into the electricity that's pulsating through the body and so that's what we want to align with more and more and it always knows what to do and it always loves us no matter what it's uh, it's our unconditional friend that's always around us always with us and always asking us to to come back to it and to merge with it yeah and it's kind of buzzing huh? we could feel buzzing, that buzzing. Uh, yeah i could feel it <laughs> Uh, it's and 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 what is the how many dimensions is there where, where do you how do you well every I think many people work with different dimensional models so I don't claim that there's one specific one but I work with a 13 13 dimensional model where the seventh is the the resonant center and then everything folds over like a mirror universe so one through six seven and then eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fold over onto the other dimensions because there are mirror universes that are mirror our dimension where maybe we're in that dimension we're a little bit more whole a little bit more slowed down <laughs> a little bit more together in that dimension but everything is a mirror yeah uh, a holographic holographic wrap around hologram <laughs> yeah, yeah. tell us about your experience in hawaii or other experience even or manchasta or something where you felt this was really practical kind of okay. like okay there's something going on here with the earth i didn't felt it i was somewhere else and <laughs> yeah when when i was on the big island about um not that long ago maybe six six months ago six moons ago um 
I was writing a chapter on the dimensions, on the 13 dimensions, and it was so much information, and my body, I just got so heavy, and I had to go lie down, and I started, like, spinning in my, my solar plexus, I experienced sometimes when you shift dimensions, and, and, and it goes through, you go through your solar plexus, and I could feel this, like, you know, halfway between sleep and awake, a hypnagogic state, and I felt like I was in the seventh dimension, which is the mirrorless dimension between, the, that hinges the mirror universes, and then in that dimension, I was, like, spit out into, like, some other dimension, but it was the exact mirror replica of what I was just experiencing, and I looked at myself, I could see myself in that universe, but in, 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 but in this one, I was slowed down, really relaxed, I was reading the same book that I was reading in the mirror universe and but I saw wow this is the universe where we're we know what's going on we're totally whole we're totally love and we're we're whispering little hints to our self in this mirror universe and even right now as we're speaking it's like what are they saying from what other universe I know yeah so 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 you know so all of that does exist I mean it's it's far out and you don't need drugs because this is like because because we are like Salvador Dolly said we are drugs <laughs> and, and 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 we there's this it's a dream we're, we're in a dream it's a dream this is a this is can't be real <laughs> <laughs> I love it yeah. this can't be real uh, so, so, uh, many people connect to the Lemurian you know uh, energy what uh, the Lemurian times but is it so it's that's happening right now too I think everything simultaneously is happening in this in this radial matrix because time isn't linear time is a time is a circle past future present can be located in this in this radial matrix it's a it's a beautiful pulsing mandala that's connected by golden fibers of, of light mm -hmm. that connect past present and future because just imagine everything everything the world of form all the different forms that exist exist simultaneously which is hard for our our little 3D minds to grasp, but that's the nature of reality or the nature of what I experienced in it. It's not time isn't a clock or a calendar or a line. It's a it's it's synchronicity. It's the the, the synchronic order. <clears throat> Can you tell us, uh, just to, to finish, and there's so much things that we could speak yeah. of, but I know there's many books, but you're completing mm -hmm. the, 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 the last uh, part. What are some of the latest teachings, I guess, that you have received too through, yeah. through, 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 through Jose? Yeah, well, Jose, Jose and I, as I told you, were involved in a, in a process of transmission which produced seven volumes known as the Cosmic History Chronicles because when we came together, we would sit down and a stargate opened and, and new knowledge just began to pour in. Nobody could explain it. It was just happening. And, and we were transported to other dimensions, other lands, and we um, chronicled the new knowledge in this seven-volume Cosmic History Chronicles, which um, we did one per year, and it was just it was a huge effort to do this. He passed away right before the seventh one was complete and left me um, to complete it in Australia alone, which was the most advanced one, and I could have only completed it with with um, assistance from the other side. <laughs> yeah. 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 So that knowledge in there? So it covers almost every subject of, of human knowledge. It's the new cosmic science. It's cosmic art. It's um, the science of synchronicity, time science, time travel, teleportation. Um, um, travel to other dimensions it we it's basically encyclopedic and what I'm doing now or my next task is to systematize all of this into an accessible format and actually ultimately I'm looking to create a, a galactic educational center with a new curriculum to show people how to activate this themselves because it's really not as hard as it all sounds I know it sounds like a lot of information but once you go step by step yeah. it's like and you can feel it in your body vibrating yeah. You know, there's many co-creators watching this all around the world, and this is maybe a time if there is something that you're looking for or maybe some support in the work that you're doing or to connect with people. I mean, this is such a global, you know, yeah. network and yeah. conversation. Is there something yeah. that you need? Um, well, what what I need or what the, the vision that's been given to me is, is to first in the United States create a, what I'm going to call a galactic training 
education research center, but I foresee it as a, um, an aesthetic work of art where, where time is art and we have a new educational curriculum where we get some of the greatest minds in there to think from a higher dimension of what is the new science, um, galactic, cosmic science curriculum? What is the new, what's the new art forms to begin to envision what is this new creation all together? And so I would like to um, get all of the, all the people who are really, really inspired all together and create a whole new educational curriculum and for the children as well because um, you know that we know how the educational systems are but but I have a whole vision for it which I'm just now writing down in the proposal and I envision the first one in the United States on the West Coast another one in Brazil and another one um, either Russia or Europe to begin with because it's the the sacred triangle but um, but an actual center that's an aesthetic work of art that has the new galactic art that we feel like we have galactic theaters and tell the stories of tomorrow yeah. <laughs> in our galactic theater, the new poetry, the new music, where we showcase a new vision for everybody and we turn the media toward that galactic culture on Earth, the culture of light. Beautiful. Well, there we go. It's beamed out through the internet, this one. <laughs> Anything else? Is there some last... Something on your mind that you would like to say or for, for people yeah. watching? I, I think we covered it just, just giving you all my appreciation and, and all my love for all the work that you do and you, you deserve everything. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, for the work you're doing. Thank you and much, much love. You deserve everything too. We love you. We send you so much love. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Big kiss. Bye. Bye.